Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute Dollar Tree K cup holder. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. All right, y'all, let us get started. So, first off, what you are going to need one of these little baskets from the Dollar Tree. You're also going to need a burner cover set, also from the Dollar Tree. Now, this is the smaller one out of the two. You're going to need one of these glasses. One of these little cooking tea time set things, and all of this is from the Dollar Tree. You're gonna need some E6000 and some spray paint. I'm using this dark brown, and then I have like this stone textured finish from Rust-Oleum. That comes from Walmart. This is really incredibly simple. Um, before we glue all of this stuff together, what we're gonna do is paint it. Now we're not gonna paint the basket, at least I'm not. If you wanna paint it, go ahead and paint it. But what we're gonna do with this glass and with this burner cover, I was trying to think of the name, what is it? It's a burner cover. <laughs> we're gonna paint them. Now, before you wanna paint this, I'm just gonna take this little sanding block, which also comes from the Dollar Tree, <laughs> and I'm just scuffing up the finish on this so that the paint, and it's gonna make a heck of a squeaky noise here in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna scuff it up so that the paint will adhere a little bit better. Just all the way around. And then just wipe that off with a cloth to make sure that you get all the dust off of it. Okay, just wiping it off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint it and the glass with that brown spray paint. And then I'm gonna go over it and put a little bit of the stone texture paint. All right, that looks pretty good to me. And I had a cloth over here. Hold on. Let me get my cloth and wipe this off. All right, so I have sanded that and then I wiped it down. Now what I'm gonna do with this little, this little teapot guy over here, I'm gonna get my E6000 and I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down to the lid. Why? Because I wanna use this as the handle. I know a lot of people use like a wooden bead or you know, like a drawer pull or a handle, you know, whatever, for like from Home Depot or whatnot. But I'm gonna use this little teapot. And we'll try to get it in the center. Are we in the center? I'm gonna have to tilt this a little bit. Oh, no, let me move it this way. All right, that looks better. That looks better. All right. So now you wanna let that E6000 set up. And you know what? I think I'm gonna put just a little bit here on the lid to get it to stick down to. You want that E6000 to set up. And then I wanna spray paint it with the brown paint. Stick down, there we go. Spray paint it with the brown paint and then go back with the coat of the stone paint on this and the glass. So hold on one minute. Okay, so the paint on my glass and actually on the lid, the paint on the lid is dried as well but I have that setting off to the side and here is the glass. Now I have just a little bit of this twine. I think this was cut off of a spool of some that I had gotten at Walmart. But what I wanna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit just around the stem here, you know, just to kind of break up the monotony of the paint. Not, nothing fancy here. I'm just gonna wrap it around a few times, you know, just to, just to give it a little something something, you know? Yeah, you know, I don't want this to be fancy. I just I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible, but still want a little bit of something. All right, now where did the side with the glue? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right there, and then just wrap this around, trying to not glue my finger to it in the process. All right, so I'm about well, I'm not at the end of this rope. <laughs> I'm about at the end of my rope, but I'm I'm not at the end of this rope. All these darn people hoarding up my coffee has put me at the end of my rope. I can't wait for my order to get here. All right, so I'm just gonna trim off a little bit there. I know this is hard to see because the, the doohickey here is in the way. But anyway, there it is. I just wrapped some. Now, why are you sticking up? Okay, right there. Just a little something. Okay, now for the... Get over there. Now look what it's done. I've gotten a basket 
is trying to eat up more camera time than what it deserves. All right, so now we have the basket here. And the, the bottom of this glass here, as you can see, it kind of dips in a little bit. And I want it to have a bit of stability. <laughs> we all need stability, right? So I'm going to take the E6000 and I'm going to go right around the edge of the bottom here. But here in the center, I'm going to put like a big blob of hot glue, okay, to try to hold the basket in place where that is dipping down. So that if I accidentally bump it or my cat bumps it or something while this E6000 is setting up, it's not going to be catastrophic because the hot glue will hold it in place until the E6000 can set up. All right, so now we're just going to squish a bunch on there. And I'm probably going to have to put on just a little bit more when I set the basket on top. Let's go ahead and put the lid on so I don't make a mess. Y'all know how that stuff likes to ooze everywhere. All right, let's see. And there's still another piece of rope. Daggummit. Mm. Okay, that looks all right. I didn't press it or anything. So now I'm just going to put a big old blob of hot glue right there. And you're not going to see this when you fill it up with your little K-cups or, you know, whatever it is that you want to put in here. All right, I think that is centered. I can't really see. I can't see. Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to let that sit there. Well, it's set up for a little bit, and I think what I might do is from the top, going in from the top here, putting a little bit more hot glue in there just to make sure that the basket is really fastened down. Um, I might go again with the E6000, once again, going through the top here and then just going around the edge, you know, so that I'm sort of like encasing the bottom of the basket in two layers of glue there. All right, so now I'm just going to let this sit here and harden up. And then when I come back, you'll see the entire finished project. So hold on one more time. All right, there it is. It is all finished. And yeah, I had to zoom out a good bit so that you could see it because it's kind of tall. And you can see my wrinkled backdrop there. But hey, it's all right. At least you can see the finished product. I had a lot of fun putting this one together. And I hope you enjoyed it. So if you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye!